If a krita feels slow or starts lagging while you're working, don't worry. I am going to show you a few easy ways to fix this problem. First, I'll show you how to take a look at your computer to see if an upgrade is needed or not. Then I'll go to Krita and optimize a few settings. Finally, I'll share some extra tricks to enhance Krita's responsiveness. By the end of this video, you should know everything you need to fix any existing or future lag. Let's get started. We are going to start by checking your system's specs and comparing them to Krita's requirements, just to see if your hardware is up to the task. This will help you decide if your computer needs an upgrade or not. In the search bar located at the bottom left of your screen, type About your PC. Click to open the panel. At the very top you can see four boxes. Let me explain what each of them do. Storage. This is your hard disk drive, also known as HDD. Think of this as your computer's permanent home for all your digital content, files, photos, videos, you name it. It's like a filing cabinet or a library where your data resides long term. The reason I called it a permanent is because the files you store here will remain accessible indefinitely until you specifically act to open, edit or remove them. The graphics card is where you'll find the graphics processing unit, also known as GPU. It works alongside your CPU, but its main job is handling visual tasks. Krita can use the GPU to speed up how it renders things, especially when OpenGL is turned on. I'll show you where to find that setting later in the video. Installed RAM is where you will find the random access memory, also known as RAM. RAM works like your computer's short-term memory or workspace. It holds the things your computer is actively using. The more you have, the more efficiently your computer can juggle multiple tasks at the same time. It's important to note that RAM is cleared when you close programs. So why does this matter? It's important to have enough free space because when Krita exhausts your RAM, it resorts to using the hard disk drive as a temporary memory severely impacting performance and therefore causing lag. Processor is your central processing unit, also known as the CPU. This is the brain of your computer. It runs the main calculations that power software. The faster the CPU, the better your computer can perform. We are going to take a screenshot of this information and save it in a Word document or a note. Next, let's visit Krita's official website and go to the download page to find the system requirements. Same thing here, take a screenshot of that and place it under the one you've taken earlier. We have one last thing to do. Let's go back to the search bar and this time type Device Manager. Open the panel. Expand Display Adapters by clicking the arrow right next to it. Now take a screenshot and place it underneath the other two.
As you can see from the screenshot I took, my PC has two graphics cards installed. We are almost ready to compare what we have with Krita's recommendation, but just seeing the names of my graphics cards really doesn't tell me much. I need to find out if either or both support the recommended OpenGL 3.0 or higher, or a Direct 3D 11. So I went to ChatGPT and asked, this is what ChatGPT told me. Yes, both of your graphics options, and it repeated the name, support OpenGL 3.0 and higher, as well as a Direct 3D 11. It even gave me a quick breakdown. Now feel free to pause the video and read the details if you like. What really matters here is that I know now that I don't need to upgrade my computer. Krita recommends at least 16GB of RAM and I have more than enough. It also recommends the graphic cards that support OpenGL and mine, both of them, do. Let's quickly recap what we've done so far. We looked into whether the lag in Krita was caused by our computer not meeting the recommended system requirements. What we found out was that the specs are fine, so the system is not the issue. So our next steps will be to adjust Krita's setting to improve performance. Before continuing, I wanted to let you know that I've put together a free guide that goes in depth into how your computer's hardware like RAM, CPU, GPU and the storage can impact Krita's performance. It's 40 pages of detailed information. I tried my best to give you everything you need to optimize your setup. Read it carefully in order to find out if you actually need to upgrade your PC or laptop. You can download this free guide from the link in the description below. We are going to adjust Krita's internal settings to improve performance. Go to Settings, choose Configure Krita, select Performance. Here is the memory limit. You can increase the memory limit only if you have enough RAM available. When adjusting a Krita's memory limit, it's a generally a good idea to leave a significant portion of your system's RAM for the operating system and other applications. Here are some guidelines I want you to consider. If your system has only 4 GB of RAM, set Krita's memory limit around 30 to 40%. If your system has only 8 GB of RAM, set it around 40 to 60%. If your system has 16 GB of RAM or more, like mine, try 50 to 70%. As you can see, I left mine at 50%. Before continuing, there are a few important things you need to remember. Never allocate close to 100% of your RAM to Krita. It's a big no-no. Monitor your system's performance after making changes. If you experiment with slowdowns or instability outside of Krita, reduce the memory limit. Finally, restart Krita after adjusting the memory limit for the changes to take effect. If you click on the Advanced tab, you'll see a section called Multithreading. I usually leave it alone, but if you are curious and want to learn more about it, I've included a full explanation in my free guide. Now that you have restarted Krita, it is time to optimize your GPU. Go back to Settings, choose a Configure Krita, and this time select Display. Make sure that the preferred renderer is set to OpenGL. Set the scaling mode to Nearest Neighbor. 
Now, some of you, depending on your needs, may set the scaling mode to one of the three other filtering options. Leave the assistance mode to direct as it is recommended. And now click OK to apply the changes. One final thing that could cause Krita to lag is the autosave frequency. To check if autosave is enabled and how frequently it's set, go to Settings and select Configure Krita. Next, navigate to the General section and click on the File Handling. If it's set to save your project every minute, it can slightly affect performance. While the slowdown isn't major, it can still be uh, noticeable. So to improve performance, uh, consider setting auto saving to every six minutes or longer, depending on your workflow. Here are a few extra tips uh, that will help you reduce a lag in Krita. Choose your brush carefully. If you need to use a complex brush, just be aware that it might slow things down. The truth is, the more complex a brush is, the slower it will perform. Now, I know it may seem obvious, but it was worth mentioning. For example, a textured brush will generally work more slowly than a simple round brush. Too many layers can slow down Krita. The more layer you have, the larger your file becomes. To reduce file size, try merging layers when possible, maybe deleting any layers you no longer need, and grouping layers to stay organized. There are a few more things to keep in mind. The larger the canvas size, the larger the file, and the slower Krita will be when performing tasks like uh, transforming or applying filters. Resolution also matters. High resolution projects can slow things down, so it's a good idea to plan ahead and do a bit of research before starting. Finally, the bigger your animation is, the longer Krita will take to render it. So that's all I could think of. If you have more tips, please feel free to share them in the comments. If your system doesn't meet Krita's needs, here are a few options. Close other programs running in the background to give Krita more memory and power to work with. Remember, Krita needs RAM. Disable unnecessary startup programs. If your computer allows it, adding more RAM can make a huge difference, especially for larger projects. Check your system specs to see how much RAM it can support. If you're using an older or low-end GPU, you may need to upgrade to one that meets Krita's requirements. Unfortunately, not everyone can do this on their own. Not all of us are computer experts. If you're unsure how to upgrade it yourself, it's best to get help from a professional. If your computer has two GPUs, integrated and dedicated, make sure Krita is using the better one, usually the NVIDIA or AMD card. If your hardware is too outdated and upgrades aren't possible, you might consider a newer system that meets modern software needs, meaning you're going to need to buy a new computer or a new laptop. So this is it for today. I really hope that this video is going to be helpful. Don't forget to download my free guide. Again, the link is in the description box. I will see you next time. Au revoir et à bientôt.